hello guys welcome back to the ctx cloud and this is the video number 14 in our training series so today we are going to see how you can update this your standard vdis or you can say that non-persistent vdis with the help of mcs and i'm going to show you a powershell script uh, which uh, with the help of that powershell script you can install all the basic applications so this does powershell script for the basic applications and it will update automatically these application with the latest version so let's see how we can do that so for that let me power on my win 10 golden image click on power on So guys, this will take another two or three minutes. So just stay connected with me. So this PowerShell script is like very useful in the production environment. Um, in like most of my test environment, I have tested this and th these um, like scripts work very well. So like you guys can use this as per your like enterprise environment so basically it's depend upon your security policies you want to use this or not but i have tested and it works very well uh, in these environments so let me log in into my windows 10 operating system which is a golden image for mcs and i'm going to take the rdp of this machine so machine is powered on let me check if it's coming on the rdp or not so it's not coming so let me check what is the exact issue in this machine why it's not coming with the rdp for that uh, the, the, there's two things you need to check first is firewall that uh, your firewall is off and then the second thing is remote access is enabled so i am check going to check remote access is enabled on this machine or not for that just click on system.cpl now click on remote and here you can see that the machine is not allowed to for the remote connection i am going to allow this click on apply ok now let me try this again so you guys can see that it's uh, picked the remote access so this is a like basic troubleshooting i have shown you in my videos so uh, now let's see uh, what i need to do on this golden image to update it via powershell script for that i have already created a powershell script to update all the software for that i'm going to check and download this from my shared storage and let me show you in the new folders this is the script i'm going to copy this so this is uh, like basically for the patching um, like we need to update the monthly patches on our master images and all the citrix admin knows that that this is the basic task which we need to do on every month so it makes your work easy if you will use these scripts so first of all you need to run this script which is created by the citrix cloud just click on run with powershell and it's a like silent installation it will take like one or two seconds to install and disable the updates from the backend after that you need to run this uh, powershell script so just run with powershell and this will launch a gui interface because um, like more for most of the uh, users and even the, for the citrix administrator it is very difficult to install each and every and they are not much more expert in the powershell so this is the GUI interface where you can install uh, like these uh, uh, applications. Uh, 
so whenever you will launch this powershell script so this is the interface you will get uh, after launching so let me expand this and like this is uh, a beautiful icon of ctx cloud i really appreciate this after that uh, you need to install the software let me show you because uh, let me show you if how many softwares we have in this vdi so you can see that there is only one software which is notepad plus plus uh, apart from that there is no other software which is installed on this build golden image so now uh, let me show you uh, one basic software let me show how to install 7zip so just click on this 7zip click on download click on install and then start this script so let me minimize this so that you can see the background so click on start and you can see that the script has been started and it's downloading the latest version uh, might it will take one or two minutes to install the latest version so basically in the background this will check what is the latest version of this software available on the internet and then it will download from the internet and install on your vdi so this is like good whenever you are updating dotnet like we don't know it's like frequent updates of dotnet framework 7zip and other things so you here you can see that it start downloading the 7zip and then it's and the powershell has been gone so that means it has been installed successfully so let me show you uh in the app which dot cpl so you can see that the 7zip has been installed and the date is 14 1 to, uh, 2023 so th this is the today's date you can see that after that let me quickly launch this again and just wait and this is uh, like installed so it whenever uh, for the first time there is no shortcut but whenever any one software is installed it will automatically create a uh, this shortcut on your desktop and based on that you uh, no, don't need to go on again powershell run with powershell so it will automatically uh, like run this uh, powershell and the gui interface will come so like uh, earlier we have installed the 7zip and now let me show one another software so you can select any of the software so let me select one small software like putty so select this putty click on stable and click on download click on install and then start so you can see that again it's uh, this powershell script has been started S install select uh, it will check the check evergreen more uh, latest version so in the internet it will check the layer what is the latest version available on the internet and it will directly download from the internet and give the this is the version available and this has been installed so it's checking the module version it start downloading start download the putty stable version 0 0.71 and you can see that the installation has been finished so let me quickly minimize this and let me refresh my softwares and you can see that the putty software has been installed automatically and this is the stable and free version so you guys can use this powershell it's like very handy for you guys uh, you can like uh, i have used this in like uh, very most of the test environment and this works very well even if you want to use in production environment uh, like you can use based on the your security policies but uh, i have tested it and this and it works very well for me so now you can see that i have installed these two software on my and golden image just click appfish.cpl and this two software has been installed so if there is like 7 zip uh, and the earlier version is uh, like putty the earlier version is 0 0.74 so it will automatically check the, on the internet and it will update that software from 0 0.74 to 0 0.78 so this works very well you guys can uh, take me the take the this uh, powershell script from me
so after this video i am going to place this script on my google drive so after subscribing my channel you guys can request me for this powershell script so i will give you and you guys can use this in your in your environment so i'm not suggesting you directly use this script on like production environment first you will test on your development and env environment if it works very well then you guys can use in production as well so after the updating this i am going to delete though both of the these icons because uh, i don't want that any my production user will click on this powershell script and install and the minted softwares even uh, this will not, not cause any problem on your random videos because they are image based whenever they will reboot they will again pick the image and wipe out whatever the changes user had done on their videos but i don't recommend this so click on now after that just shut down this video and this is again the safe, uh, same process which we have done on my server image based uh, with uh, multi session os and golden image so just wait until this power off it will take like some time to finalize like uh, it is finalizing the image on the background so on just wait and do not get like uh, do not skip these videos because there are some little steps which we, you guys will miss and then again you will uh, make mistakes on your production environment so just keep and watch everything very deeply so this has been uh, powered off now after that you need to go on snapshot and then take the snapshot give the name up you can they say that golden hyphen image hyphen p a t c h patch update u p update uh, one slash twenty uh, 14 slash 1 slash 23 so like i recommend as that whenever you change you will change anything on your master images so, so just put the date just put the change number on the snapshot so that you can in case you get any issues after one or two months you can see you guys can see the changes whatever you have done on based on the change number so click on ok after that go on to snapshot and manage snapshot so and this you can see that the golden image patch uh, this is the percentage it's taken so that's fine otherwise you guys can see the snapshot manage snapshot and this click on edit and you can change it from like while i was speaking i have no given much more intention here so it's like 14 1 slash 23 so click on turn snapshot manage snapshot so it's taking like from vmware perspective so later on we can check but our main motive is that uh, uh, we have uh, given the name here now it's time to go on your our delivery uh, controller and this date and time format we will see when whenever we will do the vmware course or just go on the delivery group click on mesh machine catalog and this is the win 10 random videos so just here click on update machine catalog select the win 10 standard desktop click on next here you need to select the golden image for win 10 and this is like golden image patch update so just select this click on next here i am going to select immediately um re reboot the machines and if you want to send like 
your machines are powered off and you want to send a notification that please save your work and just uh, logo from the vdi vdi as we are updating this so you can uh, send a message and uh, here you need to give the timings that um, before they will restart how many times like five minutes before i want to send a message to my team uh, users that they will log off from the vdis because we are going to update the machines and this will reboot in five minutes so you can send this message that vdis will reboot in next five minutes save your work so you can you guys can send this type of message and click on next and then finish so it is giving the warning message that your uh, your users will be disconnected while updating the image so just wait so you guys can see that the update has been started so it will take some time in the background it will clone the uh, clone the vd scan then it will apply on other like other citrix vdis so here is the one vdi which is already powered on so after cloning this disk it will automatically reboot this vdi and we will see that if uh, whatever the changes we have done with the help of powershell script so they the same changes has been done here or not so just wait for some time it's taking time like it's 47 percent has been completed and it's cloning the virtual machines from the snapshot so still you guys need to wait for some time so it's preparing the windows 10 random os delivery group so just wait for some time you can see the here If you guys have any questions just put in the comments in the comment section and I will try to reply all the questions if you have any anything for this video so it's copying the virtual disk on my data store which is NSX one so these are the like background process uh, which is uh, happens on the hypervisor end so my motive is to show you how what is uh, going on in the background so it has been finished so after that this like a vm will reboot automatically and pick the new image so you guys can see you can see that preparing windows and do not update so it's cloning the disk from the backend so it's updating the changes whatever we have done so you guys can see that it's five percent completed and then six percent So VDI is reporting and I think one more VDI is also reporting. So this is back. So let me quickly check this if all the software has been installed on this VDI or not. Let me quickly log in into this VDI. and simply you guys can go onto the app vcn.cpl and you guys can see that um, there is 7 gp sol installed on this video as well from the mcs image and putty software also this is the perfect method to install the softwares with the help of powershell script and this this is going to help you guys like very much i have tested this and this is the perfect method so uh, in our next videos we are going to create the infra for, for the pvs and we are going to load balance the pvs server on the net scaler how you guys can do that and after that we are going to install the vem environment 
and we are going to use the fs logics environment which is really useful in as of whenever we have migrated our exchanges on the office 365 and teams so this is the perfect method of, uh, of using fs logics in your environment so guys just stay connected with me just subscribe my channel and again i'm saying that i'm going to put this shell script in my description you guys can download it from after subscribing my channel so thank you thank you guys and just stay connected with me